Line is an exciting and new skating based competitive card game for everyone. In Line, players must lay down cards to make a combo of tricks. Which cards they can lay depends on the obstacles on the course and the cards they've already placed. So, let's get you started. You'll need two to four people to play Line. We have two types of card decks, the obstacle deck and the trick deck. To set the game up, place the obstacle deck to the left of the play space. On the other side, place the trick deck. Number yourselves and give each player an identity card with that number. They're the numbered cards. Place a copy of the identity card above or below the obstacle deck. On the other side of the play space, place the other identity cards in order, going down. We'll set up a game for two players, but additional identity cards will need to be placed for three to four player games. Now, let's start playing. At the start of the game, each player will need two trick cards to hand. Turn over an obstacle deck card and lay it next to the deck. On the other side, draw some trick cards and lay them out next to the identity cards on that side like so. You will need to draw one more trick card than there are players that you have. So, for a two player game, you would draw three cards. Order the cards with the highest value card at the bottom and lowest at the top. The value is the number in the corner of the card. All of these have the same value of 2, so nothing changes. Player 1 will then choose one of the trick cards. In turn, they will replace that card with their numbered identity card. Player 2 will then choose and replace with their identity card. This determines the order in which players draw trick cards for the next round. In this example, player 1 chose the top card and will draw first again next round. The remaining trick card gets put in the discard pile. This is then repeated so each player has two trick cards to hand. Now we can start creating lines. To build lines and place trick cards you need to pay careful attention to the obstacle deck. Obstacle cards and trick cards have connectors. They're the small coloured dots at the bottom and top of each card. There are three types here. Red ground connectors, green air connectors and blue rail connectors. Your trick card you place must have at least one matching connector corresponding with the obstacle card. In this game, the obstacle card is a flat. It has a red connector on it, so your trick card must have a red connector on it for it to be placed. Both players have placed a heel flip which has a red connector on it. Now, draw another optical card and place it next to the first one. This time, it's a flat top. Pay attention to the connectors on it. It is a blue rail and red ground connector. The trick card the players choose to play will need at least one of these in order to play it. However, they will also need this next trick card to connect to one of the previous trick card skateboards. The previous card, the heel flip, has a red and a green skateboard half. The next card the players choose won't only need to have a connector, but also at least one green or red skateboard half in order to play it. At the moment, the players only have one trick card left to hand, so it's time to draw another card to give you more of an option of play choice. Drawing trick cards is exactly the same as before. Each player will always have two trick cards to hand before playing one of them. Always pay attention to the current obstacles, connectors and your previous trick card skateboards when drawing. Player 1 in this round has played an ollie. It has a red ground connector like the flat top, but it also has a red skateboard that links it to their previous trick card to red skateboard. This means the card can be played. Player 2 has played a no comply trick. This is a red ground connector, but it also has a green skateboard which connects it with their previous trick card. You will now draw and lay another obstacle card, then draw another trick card each and play one of your trick cards. This is repeated until 9 obstacle cards have been laid down, and each player has laid down 9 trick cards. If none of the trick cards in the player's hand have a connected to the obstacle deck, or any of the previous trick card skateboards that they have played, then the player must choose to play one of their trick cards, but face it down. In this example, player 2 has a trick card that would connect to one of their previous trick card skateboards, but the card has no connectors corresponding with the flat top obstacle. They choose to play the melon trick card and face it down. 
a playable trick card must always connect to at least one obstacle connector and at least one skateboard. When the third, sixth and ninth obstacle card is placed and you have drawn a trick card each, you have the option to swap one of your trick cards that have already been played before you play another trick card in your line. This means you could swap a card that is face down in your trick card line with one in your hand that is playable. You could also swap a face down card with a card that has already been played. You could swap two cards that are face up and have been played if it gives you a better scoring combination. Just remember, trick cards must connect to at least one obstacle card connector and that there is at least one connecting skateboard either side of that trick card. You do not have to swap cards if you do not want to, but you can only swap one card in the third, sixth and ninth round of play. In this example, the sixth optical card has been laid down and the trick cards drawn. Player 2 has not yet played a sixth trick card yet. They choose to swap a face down card with one of the two cards in their hand. This card connects to the blue optical card connector and the two blue skateboards either side. They now have the card they swapped with it back in their hand. They can then continue to play the sixth round. Drawing trick cards is strategic and a huge part of the game. Depending on what trick card you choose depends on the order you get to draw next time. Do you choose to get a high scoring card but draw last next round? Or choose a low scoring card and get to draw first the next round? In this example, player 1 chose the feeble grind, whereas player 2 chose the crooked grind. This means the order for drawing cards next round would be player 2 first and then player 1. Each player would develop their own strategy. Now, once all the players have placed their ninth and final trick card, it's time to total up the players' scores. Scoring happens via chains of connected skateboards. For this example, we'll look at player 2's final score. Let's start with the red skateboards. Firstly, we have one red skateboard in a chain. It is over the heel flip and no comply trick cards. The total value of these cards added together is 3. 2 for the heel flip and 1 for the no comply trick cards. Times that together by the one red skateboard is 3. Further along, we have a chain of two red skateboards over three trick cards, the crooked grind, cross line, and the 5-0 grind. The total value for these three trick cards is five. Times that by the two red skateboards in the chain gives them 10 points. This means the total number of points scored from red skateboards is 13. Repeat this for the other two colors, the blue and the green. Player two scored 10 points from blue skateboard chains and four points from green skateboard chains. Out of those three totals together of 13, 10 and four gives that player a final score of 27. Once all the player's scores have been totaled together, the player with the highest score wins the game. We hope you enjoy playing line, the brand new skateboard game.